Alright guys, in this section we're going to uh, cover the facial bones, so we're going to start off with the maxilla. Okay, so on the maxilla, the first thing you need to know is you need to know the orbital rim is this piece that's touching both uh, zygomatic bone and part of the maxilla right there. So it's the lower part of the eye socket, that's the orbital rim. Next we have the anterior nasal spine, pointed process right there, okay, coming off the front of the maxilla. It's the anterior nasal spine, it's right below the vomer. Next we have our alveolar processes. So these are these bumps right above the teeth on the top portion. Okay, so all of those bumps are alveolar processes. Next we have our palatine processes. So we have to go to the bottom. Okay, So this front part right here is the palatine processes of the maxilla because they're reaching towards the palatine bones. Okay, So these two little guys in the back are the, are the palatine bones and the palatine processes are reaching towards them from the maxilla. So the maxillary sinus is just going to be, you see all these sinuses underneath the alveolar processes within the maxilla bone. Okay, so the sinus model, you see the maxillary sinuses are underneath the alveolar processes. Next we have the nasal lacrimal canal. Okay. So the nasal lacrimal canal is going to reach down. Those are the nasal lacrimal canals reaching down. There is the nasal lacrimal canal. Okay, within the max maxilla. Okay. Then we have the infraorbital foramina. These are these holes that sit in the middle of the maxilla. These are the infraorbital foramina because they're below the orbitals. Inferior orbital fissure. Okay. It's going to be this jagged fissure right here. That is the inferior orbital fissure, whereas... Okay, next we'll turn our attention to the mandible, or our jawbone. So here is the isolated, okay? And so the mandible is going to be, the body of the mandible is going to be this main bulk of it. When it starts to go vertical, that's going to be our ramus of the mandible, ramus of the mandible. The body of the mandible goes all the way across and attaches the both of the two the ramuses. Okay. Then we have mental protuberance. Mental protuberance is just this bump on the front. Okay. So that bump on the front of the chin, that's the mental protuberance. Then both of these two processes right here, this round one on the posterior end is the condyloid or condylar process of the mandible. This pointy one in the front or on the anterior side is the coronoid process of the mandible. Coronoid process of the mandible. Okay. Then we have mental foramina, which are going to sit in the front part of the body. So you see this little hole right there. That is one of the mental foramina. Then you see the other one on the other side. Mental foramina. Okay. You see this little notch connecting the coronoid process to the condyloid or condylar process. This is the mandibular notch in the top of the ramus. And then on the very back, you see these little holes right here. Okay, that is the mandibular foramen. Mandibular foramen, holes on the back side. Okay, that should be it for the mandible. So these two cheekbones, okay, so you see one right here, zygomatic bone zygomatic bone and in the temporal bone we covered the um, zygomatic process of the temporal bone so for this one the other side of the zygomatic arch is the temporal process of the zygomatic bone so it's extending out towards the temporal bone so this is the temporal process of zygomatic bone back here Next, we have the palatine bones. We already talked about them earlier, but just to review, we have the two palatine bones right here in the back of the roof of your mouth. So the anterior two-thirds is maxilla. The posterior one-third is going to be palatine bones. Nasal bones are nice and easy. Okay, so the nasal bones are these two bones that sit up front here on the very top of the nose. So you see these two? Nasal bones. The vomer. 
So that top, top three quarters of the nasal septum, okay, is going to be perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone. Then this bottom piece reaching towards that anterior nasal spine, okay. That bottom one fourth piece is going to be your vomer, and it's its own unique bone. The inferior nasal concave, okay, are these, I call them the bump, bumps on the side wall. So this lowest one is the inferior nasal concave. You see the middle one right above it, okay, and then the superior nasal concave, Owen talked about on a different video that you can only see them on certain models. So the lacrimal bones are going to be these teeny tiny little bones medial. So we had the maxilla right there on the front, and then now we have this tiny, tiny little bone, the lacrimal bone, which has a groove in it known as the lacrimal sulcus, leading to the or nasal lacrimal canal, nasal lacrimal canal, which is actually part of the maxilla. Okay. We missed a bone. So. Here is the bone right here. It's a free-floating bone in your neck. It is known as the hyoid bone. So it's a free-floating bone in your neck because it doesn't articulate with other bones. And it has these um, lesser horns up front and the greater horns are behind it. And that's all you need to know.